Yo, what's up everyone? Kiro's here and today we're going to start our first session of kind of our Nikkei vlog, just kind of what, how I progress in the game. And this will be really centered around beginner tips and uh, a couple mistakes, honestly, too, that I've already made, but things uh, that you really need to know day one or day two uh, to progress your account or to just make sure you don't make those mistakes. So if you guys can hit that like and subscribe and we'll jump right in. All right, guys, good to see you. Uh, so we are going to uh, start this series here, and it, this is just going to be maybe four or five tips and uh, some mistakes here. But we've been uh, progressing on our account. Now, this was our reroll account. We've been doing uh, pretty well on it, uh, progressing into the chapters. Not as far as I'd like to be, um, but I'm only uh, doing them live on stream so everyone can enjoy the chapters with us. So I can only move so fast. But uh, let's go ahead and start with our first tip. So what's uh, something that I didn't know day one, and I, I kind of found it out day two, is you really need to fill your list with friends. Now, I'm still trying to get 30, and uh, you just need to fill it like immediately. I'm, I'm saying go just search people and just randomly just start inviting people. If they don't accept within like an hour or two, just go ahead and drop in, try and find some more people, jump into any of the discords, jump into our discord, if you need to, to try and find some more friends because uh, the links are down below. It's very important that you send and receive these social points every single day. Now, uh, I believe you get one to one. So if you have 30 people or uh, if you have 30 friends, you should be able to get 30 points a day. Um, I don't know what that breakdown is. I haven't been following that. But the reason why that's so important is that if you go into your recruitment, now, obviously, you have your standard uh, wishing and everything like that, but you have this social point recruitment, and this is actually really key because uh, you can you have a chance to get SSRs and SRs here, and if you can summon two or three times a day for free, it's absolutely killer, right? You'll have these recruits uh, or these hearts that you can get. Now, you'll have to probably regularly clean out that friends list, but uh, definitely worth doing, even though even though the the rates are low. It's still a, th uh, a really good thing to do to try and build out your characters and your roster. All right, so that kind of brings us into our second and third tip. Now, if we go to the campaign, we'll wait for this load. Five hours later. Now, you all might be further than I am. Oh, there's a secret right there. Make sure you grab all these. That's not a tip, but that should be a different tip in there. Um, if you go forward with these, you'll see that all these enemies have a recommended power. This one's 4780, which is actually pretty high for uh, stage four. And uh, you get a lot of resources from this. But the one mistake I made uh, really early on was um, I got Scarlet. I got a lot of other good units and I just straight leveled Scarlet. And that really didn't help me out. It really didn't. Um, so if we go into our characters here, uh, the biggest tip I can say is that you want to make a core roster. It doesn't matter if they're SR units. Um, honestly, some of the SR units, if you uh, pulled a lot of them and they're two star, will actually have higher power than your base SSRs. So some of the SR units are actually worth using, like uh, Rappi is uh, worth using, and a few others are definitely worth using if you have those two stars. But if you pulled a really good account, like I pulled a really good account, uh, my base team is is uh, obviously right here with everything in the 40. Now, the one thing you don't want to do is you def you definitely don't want to just like, bam, like we're just going to take this all the way to 66. That's really not going to help your team. It really isn't. Now, is that character probably going to hit like a truck? Yes, it really is. But in order to uh, advance that combat score, you really need to level up five people. And then what you don't know is that if your combat score is underneath the recommended score you actually lose damage there's I, I don't know what the percentage damage is that you lose there but you you start doing less damage uh probably based on the difference between there or it might be a flat rate as well so i highly suggest pick the five characters level them up across the board and that will help you out a ton speaking of a way to let's go on to tip number three speaking of a way that you can increase your um combat score now it's just a slight increase but the one thing that you can do is if we go back into this page here you can go to advise and depending on where you are if you're already in the area where you build your city and everything like that you um can advise uh three times a day now the 
The one thing I would say is that advise evenly at least across five of your units, five to six of your units. Do not use your advise every single time. You may love Scarlet. I get it. Totally get it. Right. And every single time you increase the bond level, this this goes from zero zero, right? If you go to any other unit, right? Let's say we go over to someone I haven't done, right? You can see zero zero zero. But if you go over to some of the characters I have done, you get some attack, uh, increase some defense, increase some HP increase. This actually increases your CP score by roughly about 20 to 30 uh, per bond. So if you get five characters, that's another way to get it up another, you know, 100 points uh, pretty easily in the grand scheme of things. So make sure that you are balancing uh, five team members. Um, so you can see here, rank two, rank two, rank one, rank one. So make sure you get your base five to rank two. And then a quick big tip, big tip. All right. It's not really, it's not really a big tip. I feel like everything is pretty straightforward in this game, in my opinion, but make sure you're not sleeping on these uh, messages either. So you can see here, I have one from who's the character I use that I haven't talked to yet. I guess I've talked to all the, the recent characters that I, um, pretty care about. Well, we have novel here, right? So if you go through this this talking scene you can replay these at any time so i'll i'll replay this and read this a little bit later dear god <laughs> there you go you get a hundred affection from doing that so that's an easy way to get a bunch of your characters to rank two as well all right so quickly i want to talk about team composition um so one thing you definitely don't want to do is set up bad team compositions what i mean by that is uh there's kind of a uh, how do I explain it? There is kind of a um, priority of events on how you create teams. Now you have support characters, you have tank characters, you have attack characters, and you kind of want to balance that. And you want to make sure that you have attack uh, and support characters. Support characters are very important in this game. But when you're setting up your squad, so if I was to set up like a new squad, um, some of the things that are really important is that you want to make sure that you don't overly have burst ones or burst twos, and then you at least have two burst threes now that sounds very complicated at first but um you may you may make a team where uh you know you just throw in like three burst ones a burst two and a burst three now the problem with that team composition is that depending on the the, the cooldown on the burst two and the burst three you're just gonna you're you're gonna waste a lot of effort because if you hit that burst one and then you can't go into a burst two because it's on cooldown it's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt you. And burst threes usually last a lot longer. I think they typically take anywhere between uh, 80 seconds or, or something like that, where a burst one is like 20 to 40 seconds. So um, having overly burst ones are not that good. And then having er overly burst twos is also not that good too. So if you were to put like uh, three burst twos in there and a burst three, not a good combo. So here's the rule I would kind of say here. Always make sure that you have at least two burst threes at a minimum. You can't go below two burst threes just because of the way the cooldowns work. So you will always have two burst threes. Now, depending on your team comb uh, combination, you can then do two, one, two or one, two, two. Um, I rather that stop gate be right in the beginning because the problem is that what typically happens is that if you're in a fight, uh, sometimes your characters will actually get stunned. And if you hit that burst one, you know that character is not stunned because you have to be able to hit the button anyways, right? So you can sit on that burst one. But if you get to that burst two and say, for example, your your uni is stunned for 10 seconds or something like that, and you can't get her out, uh, that whole burst chain is wasted. So I per I this is my preferred is one, two, two. I really, really enjoy it. But, you know, play around with it. But you can't go below to uh, burst threes. All right. And then my final little tip, and, and I'm probably going to do a bonus mistake here at the end as well. And then we'll we'll put that in our mistake video as, uh, as well. Um, if you're new to a game like this, this is a mostly an idler game. So that means the amount of currency, EXP, stuff like that. Once you get past the main campaign, you can only move so fast. Now, the best way to actually increase that is the tactics academy do not sleep on the tactics academy i'm saying get in there day one and progress this as soon as possible you'll have all these different lessons that you can complete and they each have their own unlocks unlocks three building slots 
nothing right home there but increases credit um acquiring by 10 percent uh increases combat uh portrait acquirement by uh 10 so there's a lot of buffs here now unfortunately uh, some of this is going to be left up to rng because if you don't pull some of these units you, there's not a whole lot you're going to be able to do and that's where that friend point comes in to at least get some more summons because that's going to get you a lot of the units that are required to do this until uh until you know the higher classes but definitely do not sleep on this and um try and upgrade it as soon as humanly possible because one of the best ways or one of the ways or one of the only ways that you're really going to get money after the campaign uh there's some other missions as, as well i don't want to say only way but is the outpost defense where you can claim this as you can see i'm getting 62 a minute i'm getting 200 of uh, those data uh, sets every single minute but you can see that these tactics events are in place to give me a boost so the more boosts you can get early the faster that's going to go and then make sure that you do claim this twice a day this does fill up in about 12 hours so you want to log in in the morning at least for like three seconds right log in i mean it takes like 20 minutes to get through the opening uh cutscene. but <laughs> go ahead and hit that claim just and you have to dip out you have to dip out right i'm uh i'm i'm always just super long-winded i hope you guys enjoy it um i'm essentially be making you know uh vlogs of my progress through nikkei um and just uh just throwing some tips or showing some progress showing showing the results of my mainly free to play account and uh i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope that helped you out i'll have some more on the way and uh we have other games that we're still playing for all my other community out there i do appreciate you if you guys can't hit that like and subscribe comment down below if you found this useful comment down below if you didn't find this useful comment down below if you just want to call me a baka i do appreciate that so uh fist bump from me to you